Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 23 before going ahead with Part 24. So let us start with monoatomic gases. We will calculate the specific heat capacity for monoatomic gases. For monoatomic gases, as we discussed, they can only have translational degrees of freedom. They cannot have rotational or vibrational degree of freedom. So the maximum degrees of freedom that they can have is 3 translational degrees of freedom. Now, from equipartition theorem, we found that each degree of freedom will contribute half kb into t to the energy. Therefore, 3 degrees of freedom will contribute 3 by 2 kb into t. This is the energy that it will contribute. Therefore, the total internal energy of 1 mole of gas. What would be that? From kinetic theory, the average kinetic energy will be equal to 3 by 2 kb into t. Now, I am calculating the total kinetic energy and not the average kinetic energy. So, the total kinetic energy will be equal to 3 by 2 kb into t into Na because in one mole there are Na number of molecules. So, this will be equal to 3 by 2 kb into Na is equal to R. So, 3 by 2 RT. Now, what is Cv? That is the specific heat capacity at constant volume is equal to du by dt. So that is equal to 3 by 2 r. So this is the value of specific heat capacity at constant volume. We also know that Cp minus Cv is equal to r. For an ideal gas, this is the relation between the specific heat capacity at constant pressure and at constant volume. Now Cv is equal to 3 by 2 r. Therefore, Cp will be equal to R plus Cv, which is equal to R plus 3 by 2 R, that is equal to 5 by 2 R. So, these are the values of the specific heat capacities for monoatomic gas. So, what will be the ratio of the specific heat capacities? That is, gamma is equal to Cp by Cv. So, this gamma is also a parameter. So, gamma is equal to 5 by 2 R divided by 3 by 2 R. So this comes out to be 5 by 3. So the ratio of the specific heat capacities remains the same that is 5 by 3 for all monoatomic gases. So this is how we calculate the specific heat capacity for monoatomic gases and when experimentally the specific heat capacities of monoatomic gases like helium, argon were found out it was found to be not exactly equal to this predicted value, but it was very much nearby to these values. Now we will calculate. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.